guys. Welcome to an urban Viking Ale review in the sunshine. Um, it's still a lovely, lovely evening. Um, lovely autumn evening. Um, so I thought I'd do a beer to reflect the occasion, and it's, it's going to be Shepherd Neems Late Red, which is their seasonal beer for autumn. Four and a half percent, so you know, it's nothing that's going to blow your head away, but it's always appealed to me. And you know, this is another one that was sent to me by, was given to me, sorry, by my mate Mike in work. Um, Really nice chap. In total, he's given me about five or six beers, and um, the majority of them have been really nice. So, I really appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna have to buy him a present at Christmas or something like that. Anyway, I've seen a couple of guys review this already online. Um, Simon from the Real Wild Guide. I know he's he's tried this. Also, Terry Big Goggles reviews. He's done a good review on this. So, let's have a look. Okay. Shepherd Neem uses the finest blend of Kent hops and barley to produce this rich red autumn ale. Enjoy late red on long balmy evenings before the onset of winter. This handsome autumn ale mingles nourishing crystal malts with enchanted hop garden scents. The pungent freshness of East Kent Goldens meets the exotic grapefruit and floral hints of Cascade. Lovely. 4.5%. So they've got some lovely hops in there. I mean, the Cascade and the East Kent. Wonderful, wonderful English hops. Um, and uh, the crystal malts for the sweetness. Um, I'm assuming Cascade are English hops. I know the Americans use them a lot, so. Right. If I'm wrong, let me know. 4.5%. The good old Shep Neem cap. And. Let's get it in the old uh, goblet. Okay, lovely, really, really nice, rosy, dark rosy sort of red colour, um, nice little head on it as well. I've had it chilled in the fridge for a bit, so let's give it a nose. Wow, that's really powerful. Um, I won't look at that because that's rude. <laughs> he says as he's looking at it. Sorry, it might be someone important. I don't think it is, because I don't know anyone important. No, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, um, really, really strong, um, hoppy, earthy smells, um, combined with this almost sort of red, plummy um, sort of bitterness. Uh, really hard to describe. All I can describe it as is the smell of red. Um, it really does. If you could like, I, mean, I know Terry Kay does it with some of the beers he tries. Um, whether it's something that's quite fresh and zesty, he tends to say it's like a yellow beer or something like that. But then you've got the um, nice warming purples and all that sort of, you know, it's, it's something some of us do. But it's, it's, it's got such a red smell to it. Um, nice bitter hops and um, this lovely sort of red fruit smell. Um, okay, let's get this one on the go. Cheers. Cheers, Mike. Lovely. <laughs> so I'm laughing because um, Kelsey's up in her room playing um, her keyboard. I think she's trying to play Axel F and it's just coming out really bad. Um, right. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're getting like um late red apple sort of uh, taste, you know, like the skins. Uh, <laughs> and you're getting, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> and you're getting this nice bitterness as well, um, which gives it a really nice flavour. Um, this is very, very similar to the Spitfire. Uh, if you've had Spitfire from Shepherd Name, it's almost, is it identical? No, this one has slight, slightly more of a roasting characteristic to it. I think that's probably where the um, the crystal malts are coming in because you're getting this lovely sweetness, um, which really does give it an almost autumnal sort of flavour because you're getting these almost um, 
sort of um, really ripe, red, deep skinned apple um, pith. This lovely bitterness, uh, and then this um, earthy sort of undertone, which um, sort of just carries along the bottom of your tongue. So basically, it is, it's really autumnal. It's like a red apple falling from a tree, landing on the ground, and then you're scooping it up with your mouth, and that's what you get. It's lovely. Really nice. I really did like this one. Um, Yeah, it's really good. So I'm really trying to ignore that music, uh, but it's just making me laugh. So uh, yeah, all in all, if you're after a nice autumnal beer, get hold of it. Um, like I say, it's seasonal, so it, you know it isn't around for long. And I really, really like it. Um, it's one of the ships that I really do like. If you like Spitfire, you'll like it. Once this warms up, it's very similar to the Spitfire and you get that Tizer taste, which um, Terry laughs at, but it's definitely there. Um, so anyway, the Shepard Neem, late red, from me, will definitely get an eight out of 10, without a doubt. It's a lovely autumn beer. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's also another fruit which I can never grasp, uh, which you seem to get. Um, but just get hold of it. It's a really, really nice beer. Eight out of ten. I know they sell it in uh, some of the cheaper supermarkets like Lidl's, but they also sell it in the Co-op. It's on offer at the moment uh, in Morrison's, I believe. So get it. It's lovely. Um, take care. And um, I'm going to tell that bloke playing Axe. It isn't actually Kelsey. I've just worked it out. It's the next door neighbour trying to play Axe F on a clarinet. So I'm going to have to tell him to shut up in a minute because it's getting on my nerves. Cheers!